Hey everybody, it's Terence. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to show you how you can set up your audio monitoring in OBS Studio so you can ensure you can hear what you're recording and streaming in your productions. Having the right audio monitoring is crucial for your productions for recording and streaming and helps catch any issues that come up in your live streams or productions. So we're going to go through this step by step and I'm going to show you how to set it up for OBS Studio. So let's dive in. first step is to understand your audio sources. So what are you trying to output and what are you trying to hear? So first we need to understand what our goal is for our audio and our production. So what we want to hear, what we want the audience to hear and not hear. You might have audio sources like your own microphone, hearing that back. You might want to monitor other guests' microphones, making sure that's going out okay or not hearing it twice. If you're in a call with them, maybe doing an interview and you don't want to hear it twice, you want to make sure it's going out to the stream, but you're not hearing it again. So it's going twice and having a delay. And also you might have something like a video playing where you're watching that together. So the next step is to determine our audio routing needs. So we know what we need for our production, but now we need to plan and organize our routing, where it's all going to go and what we're going to hear back for our monitoring. Doing this properly, we'll make sure we hear what we want to hear and our audience hears what we need them to hear and avoid sharing what we don't want them to hear as well. So what we have here in OBS, we've got a scene. So far, it's got nothing in it. So no sources or anything like audio put into it yet. So basically, we want to hit this plus icon and it's going to bring up some options here. We have audio input capture and then we have audio output capture, that's the two here. So there's a bit of a difference between the two. So audio input capture, that's gonna be anything like your microphone, any XLR microphones, any USB microphones, just think anything that you're gonna be speaking into of your own audio. So any line devices like your audio interfaces, if you've got like the Scarlett 2i2, I've got an audio interface here. So think like that, that's your line devices, anything with your microphone. We can see if we add that one here, that's got audio input capture. We can rename it to whatever device that we're using. But you can see here, we've got limited options here. So basically on my setup, it's gonna be different for what you have. But basically this one here is an audio interface. That's the audio interface that I have. And also I have some virtual cables here for the microphone and software that I'm using, which is basically just a virtual mixer that's built into the Wavelink. You can see here, if I really wanted to, I could use the direct line from my microphone, from my interface, or I could use this one here, which is the Wavelink stream output. So basically that's everything from the Wavelink mixer being mixed down into a microphone source. And to show you that, that's what this is here. So that would be mixing all these four channels here so far into the final stream mix down the bottom here and outputting it into OBS. I'm gonna add the stream mix to this one. So the next one is audio output capture. So a little bit of a difference here, depending what you're doing. Once again, hit the plus icon and we have audio output capture. So if we click that one, hit OK. And now for our device, we can see we can choose a whole different array of devices. And depending what you have connected to your computer, this could be a small list or it could be a big list. You can see here the options I have for my system. I have a capture card here, which is the HD 60 plus S. So that's going to get the audio from the capture card if I wanted to use that. I also have other options here for the Wavelink. So even individual channels. So this is the Wavelink browser audio. So back onto my virtual mixer here, that would be adding audio from this browser source only. So if I only wanted to have that one source in OBS from this little virtual mixer, I could do that and put it into OBS that way. Same for the Wavelink game audio. There's other voice channels and all different ones here. So this is why you'd use this. It's for different media sources, different channels on your mixer. So for this one, I'm gonna add the browser source here. So I'm gonna add in my web browser channel. So we'll add that in. This is the Elgato Wavelink browser, virtual cable. So it's a virtual cable as well you can use in this one, hit okay. And now we have two channels. Now we know how to add a couple of our devices. The next thing we're gonna move on to is enabling audio monitoring. So within OBS Studio, it's very simple here. We need to go down to this little gear icon here and just click that one and it's going to pop up this advanced audio properties, which you can also access that from going from edit up the top here and advanced audio properties. You can see here, we've got two of our channels here and this is where we can do some different things. We can pan it left and right. We can send it to mono. You might want to put it to mono. Like I've got a second mic here. You can see here from our microphone, you can see in the Wavelink here, it's actually coming out on one channel. See, it's got two channels here and it's on one side, which may happen. See if I unmute it, you can see on the channel here, it's outputting in still one channel. Close this down. We can see in OBS Studio, it's coming out on one side. So that's coming out on 
the left channel. So to fix that, you'd hit this mono button right here. And as I speak into it, you're gonna see it now it's doubled up and we've got two channels. So it's just basically doubling it up on left and right to make it in the center. So if you need to do that, that's where you do that. And we also have other options as well for the sync. So if it's out of sync with your video, you can adjust that for a live setting or recording. So usually what I like to do in that scenario before a recording, I do a clap and I go test. And when I clap, I watch back the video. And if the clap is in sync with what I'm doing and my action with clapping, then I'll know that the video is in sync. Apart from that, we have all other options, but the one we wanna take a look at the most, that's most important for this video, that I wanna speak about is the audio monitoring. So we've got audio monitoring here on this tab. Now we can see we've got it for our mic and the other source that we added as well for our output, which was the browser source of the video. So basically, if we wanna be able to hear ourselves, so right now I'm speaking to this microphone as well, and I'm not hearing it. So basically this audio is still going out to OBS. So if I was recording this in this OBS window here, or if I was sending it to a live stream, this audio is still going out, but I'm not hearing it. So if I did want to hear it, and you'll be able to hear it here in a second in the recording, is you go to this section here, and you've got a few options. So if we've got monitor off, so basically pretty straightforward, that's not hearing what we outputting. So that's the monitor off. We also have monitor only. So basically, this would mute the outputs. You can see it's in brackets. So if we just wanted to hear this, maybe it might be a scenario that you want to use some music for a production, maybe it gets you in the vibe for your production, but you don't want to output that music to the live stream or something like that. So you don't get a copyright strike. Maybe it's copyright material. There's some reason that you don't want that outputted, but you want to hear it during your production. That's where you'd select this because it would be able to hear it, but it won't go out. So. If I change that to my microphone here, it should come through and we'll hear it. And you'll be able to hear it in the recording here. I can see it's coming through on the channel of my OBS here. So I'm recording through that mic as well. So that's not coming out of OBS Studio. And the last option there is monitor and output. So basically it's doing both. So we're hearing what we want to hear and we're outputting that same audio out to wherever it needs to go in OBS. Monitor and output would be the one you want to use if you're using like a capture card and you want to hear the gameplay that's being captured through the capture card and you're not getting the audio, or if you're using a microphone and you wanna hear back what you're broadcasting out into your production. So monitoring output's the one you wanna choose for that one. Another reason that you'd use that option is say, for example, if you have a host and you're connected via Zoom or Discord, you wanna monitor them through that software and avoid hearing them twice. So basically you would set these options here in that scenario. Now the other example as well is you might have a video playing in your production. Maybe you have a video or an audio playing within your production and you want to make sure when it's playing you can hear back it okay so that's going to be similar to what we do here but we're going to add it in as a media source so we're going to hit the plus icon here and then select media source and here you can again you can name it and this is where you choose some settings for that media so if you've got like a sort of waiting soon screen and there's some music playing on it and you want it to kind of loop you could do that you could hit loop here and it's going to loop that file and this is where you select the file on the browse section here. Now I have a video playing. See, it's a previous YouTube video. I just put it into the media source here. You can see it's playing. I can pause it and I can see here, I'm still getting my microphone audio that's coming out from this channel here. We'll see on the media source here, it's outputting. So this is what the stream's gonna hear, but at the moment we can't hear it. So if we did wanna hear it and we wanna hear the contents of this video, all we we'll need to do here, same deal. We can go down to this little gear icon now we can see a new channel has been added to our advanced audio properties. So there's media source. So we've got these different channels here. Audio monitor is off, but it's still outputting to the production or the recording or live stream. Go down here and we can go monitor and output and you're gonna hear it's gonna change and you're gonna hear my voice in this video. You're gonna see a screen like this with your mic input. So if I turn the monitor off, now it's still outputting. You can see visually here, it's still going out to the stream, but we just check the levels. And if we need to, you can see it's running a little bit hot here in the red. If we want to balance it, we could just drag it down here and bring it down in our mixer. So if we wanted to get a good gauge of how loud something was, it's sending out to our recording or live stream. You can see here, now it's almost balanced with the microphone here. If I bring the mic up here, it's, now it's gonna be in the yellow because it's closer and our mic audio is above our background video audio here. So we can balance it. Maybe you want it down here Maybe we're commenting over some music or something like that. Make sure we balance it correctly. And it's a great way to do it and reference it. So using this output monitoring within OBS Studio so you can get your balances correct. 
So some of the common issues that may happen is most common one is echo or delay. So having stuff that repeats because you've got audio sources feeding back into themselves. And if you've ever experienced a Zoom call, you've jumped on it and then someone has their mic unmuted and someone else is speaking, but they're using their speakers from their computer to monitor and hear what they're hearing and it just loops back into the microphone. So one way to solve that and the best way to solve that, in my opinion, is get some good headphones and make sure they're plugged in. And if you have any external speakers, which I've got here, just to turn them off and use the headphones. And then that way you're not gonna get any sort of echo in that way. Other issues as well is having doubling up of inputs, making sure you're checking visually in your mixer here and checking what you're monitoring if you're using something like the Wavelink or if you're using a Rodecaster or the GoXLR, making sure those mixes aren't doubling up here. You can see here, I've got monitoring options within this app, which this virtual mixer here. You can see I could technically monitor twice. I could monitor here of the speakers and I've even got like a headphone monitor mix as well. So if I'm monitoring through there and I'm monitoring as well through OBS, it's gonna double up and I'm gonna hear it twice and it's gonna have an echo. So checking things as well, you can see I've muted my headphones here, but I'm leaving the broadcast of that microphone output to come out here, which is going out to my stream mix, which is coming into OBS Studio. So managing your audio that way, just checking, making sure all the software and hardware that you're using, where the audio is going and planning it out correctly so you don't come into those issues. Lastly, if you need some more personalized assistance to help you out with these more advanced setups, check the video link down below and you'll be able to see a calendar here where you can check time and date. Just follow the prompts here and you'll be able to book me personally to help you out with these setups remotely here. So choose a time, choose a date that suits yourself and go through the prompts here, add your name and everything, follow the prompts and it will lock into both our calendars in Google and we'll be able to jump on a call and help you out. So thank you for watching today's video. We'll see you in the next video.